Hello there, just so you know, this video contains a paid promotion. Don't worry, I'll never promote something that I don't think is worthwhile and I'll never mislead you about the quality of a product or service. Enjoy! Hello everybody and welcome back to Tipped Up. Bit of a different one for you today. I am showcasing a really, really useful plugin called Lazy. Essentially, Lazy allows you to distribute your um, layers or keyframes with a handy graph visually on screen um, and with easing intact, which is great because although you can um, distribute via frames uh, in standard After Effects, you can't do it with any amount of easing, um, which has always been a shortcoming for me. So most of that intro was actually made with Lazy Layer Easer. Um, as you can probably guess, once we go through, you'll be able to see which parts were used with it. But I'm just going to give you uh, two examples of how this would be actually quite useful in a standard workflow. OK, so we're going to pop over to this composition here called Tut. And as you can see, if I just scrub through, I've got a single layer with a radial scale wipe and radial wipe applied, and then a word that says spin in the middle. And then I've just duplicated that several, several times, each with a different color. And the standard way to do this would be <clears throat> to decide how long you want to distribute these layers. So say four frames, okay, close off that frame. Oh, sorry, that was 40, not four. <laughs> Close off those frames. Um, select them in the right order. Right click them. Keyframe assistant, sequence layers. Then you'd have to choose if there was any overlap. And you could hit OK, right? And that would give you a linear interpretation. And then, of course, you'd have to reapply all of those so that when they spin in, you get that kind of effect. But this is very linear. There's no easing on it. It's just a straight animation, a straight distribution of layers, um, which isn't super great, to be honest. Um, now, what Lazy um, does is it allows you to distribu distribute those layers across a Bezier curve. Um, and you can also choose how many frames it takes when it distributes that. And then there's two options down here. You can reverse the distribution of the layers and you can switch between layers and keyframes. And I will give another example for keyframes here. Um, so layer mode is this green icon and keyframe mode is a blue icon. So we're going to stick with the layer mode for the moment. And I want to distribute these on a nice eased in and eased out curve. So I'm going to select all my layers. I'm just going to press U so you can see what keyframes I have on them. Um, it's not much, it's just transition completion for both a radial scale wipe and a radial wipe. Okay. And with all my layers selected, I'm just going to simply click this little green um, button here. You can click anywhere. Um, but I find the little green circle at the start of the curve a good place because it just makes sense to me. And that applies that curve. You can see already that those layers have been eased. OK. Um, and if I were to change this, as soon as you let go, it updates. There's no apply button. There's no anything like that. It's just a really quick way to adjust your Bezier curve for your layers. OK, so I'm pretty happy with that. And as you can see, it's distributed those across 60 frames. Now, if I go to the first frame of this animation here, which is on frame eight, the first frame of the last layer is on frame 68. So it distributes between the first frame of the first layer and the first frame of the last layer. So that's just something to bear in mind when you're doing that. OK, now you can just shift all these back to the beginning of the composition and have a look. Bam. So in one click, essentially, we created that rather than having to trim the layers, distribute them linearly, reapply these eases manually if you wanted to have any kind of ease whatsoever, and then re-extend the, the layers. All we've done is click a button and that's it. We get perfect control. Um, now, if I just quickly undo that so that it's back to flat. OK, say I wanted to distribute those across only 30 frames. I can do that too. select all my layers. Click on there and now the difference between frame one, which is on four and frame 34, 30 frames between the first uh, frame of the first layer and the first frame of the last layer. So really easy, really quick to do, really simple to edit. OK, now I can flip those layers around, which immediately reverses the transitions. 
which won't look great on here because the top layer is then going to cover everything. Um, but that might be useful if your text comes in the wrong way or something like that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple interface. Um, there is another way you can do it, which is um, working with just keyframes on a single layer and, and distributing those along a Bezier curve rather than several layers. And that's in this example over here. You can see that I have a text layer that says lazy layer easer and an outlines layer of that same text. Um, all I did was right click, create shapes from text. And then I went in and added some keyframes to um, the transform of each layer. Now, all I did was do on the first one, opacity 0 to 100 and position 0 30 to 0 0. And then I just copied and pasted those across all of these layers. Okay, so if I just hit U, that brings up everything that I've done here. Okay, and now what I need to do is just select all these keyframes. Um, well, first, make sure, sorry, that I'm on keyframe mode. Should have said that before. And I want it to distribute across, say, 60 frames. And I want these ones to be maybe straight in, fast in, and fast out. And then apply. And it'll take a little while to go through and sort of take all those. You can see on the screen there. And it, you can see now it has distributed along that curve. Okay. So those positions will just flop in like that. Let's uh, get rid of our original layer so we can see what we're doing. And I'll just trim down to maybe six seconds because we don't need that much space. And have a look. So you can see that it doesn't actually affect the animation of the keyframes you've put in. That still animates in exactly the way you want. It uh, distributes the layers along that Bezier curve. It doesn't affect the animation that you've applied. So these first few letters are grouped quite close together and then the rest ease out. So let's apply a more dramatic um, ease to that and see if we can't come up with something a bit uh, easier to see how the flow works, okay? So let's maybe distribute it across uh, 120 frames, okay? Just to give us a bit more space. Um, just gonna apply the curve first. Let's have a really dramatic one so we can see precisely what's happening. Select all the keyframes, apply it, and it'll go through one by one and apply that. There we go. So now we can see that with a bit more drama. Okay. So the first group of letters are going to come in at roughly the same time. Let's collapse that and bring it back up again. Okay. So the first few are going to come in. You can see already that they're quite close together. But as it comes to the middle of the word, they start to space out a bit more, almost one at a time. And then towards the end of the word again, they come in together, but it's coming in backwards. Now that may be what you want, that's fine. But if it's not, just select your keyframes and reverse them. Nice and simple. It's gonna to have to go through and re-render those because it's individual keyframes on the layer. But now that's swapped it around, nice and simple. And if we play that, we get a really smooth, really easy distributed set of keyframes that are applied along a beautiful curve. Um, now this has actually taken longer than it usually would because obviously I'm explaining it all to you, um, but Honestly, this is one or two clicks and um, it is still under development. And the um, creator of this, Danny Perry, he's looking actively for feedback. OK, um, there's already been some feedback about things like adding in a reset button, um, the potential of saving your Bezier curve. So you can have them um, just with a, another click, apply a same Bezier curve later in the project. Um, there's been... Um, things like adjusting the interface, um, all sorts of stuff. It is in active development. So it's a really useful plugin. Uh, it saves you a lot of time and you know that it's being worked on and improved all the time as well. So it's really useful. And I've been using it in projects since I got it. Um, it's great for just those quick bits of text animation, um, really cool stuff like when you're duplicating the same animation and offsetting it, rather than it being a linear offset, you can now apply a really beautiful curve to it. So if you think this is something that you can find useful, um, and I certainly think you will, you can head over to aescripts.com and you can get yourself a copy of Lazy Layer Easer from there. There's a description video and a tutorial video on the page as well to get you started on how to use it but honestly it's terribly simple there's nothing to worry about at all um, there's also compatibility and comments there to show you whether it'll work with your version of after effects and a way to leave reviews and feedback it has also included a way to post feedback 
directly from within the interface, which is quite useful. If you want to say to them, this is how I think you can improve it. Um, you've done a great job. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Make sure you go and check out um, Lazy Larry's. And Danny has been very kind in providing us with a special discount code exclusively for people who subscribe to Tipta or at least watch this video. Simply go to aescripts.com and to the Lazy page and use the discount code LazyTipta20 at checkout for 20% off the plugin. Uh, this is really great. And thank you to Danny for providing that for us. And I'll see you all next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.